Choosing the right web hosting service can be crucial for launching and maintaining a successful website. When it comes to hosting websites, Hostinger and Bluehost are two of some of the most popular industry leading softwares that you can utilize. And in this video, we'll be doing a complete comparison of the two, covering things like pricing, performance, ease of use, and customer service. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of which of these two platforms is right for you and your website, leaving you with no more questions about which of these two platforms that you can start utilizing right now now. And speaking of utilizing these platforms right now, if you want to get started with either of these, you can simply use the link down in the description below. To get started with Bluehost, simply hit the link down in the description below and you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. As you can see, some of the benefits you get when you use our link to sign up with Bluehost is something like a free domain for your first year, free SSL certificate included, plus a one-click WordPress install, expert 24-7 support, and secure reliable hosting. And it's all starting at $1.99 a month, which is a huge discount compared to what it is regularly at $8.99 for a 12 month term. To go forward with this deal, all you have to do is hit the get started now button. You'll then be taken to the pricing page where you can choose which of these prices you want to go with. As you can see, the discount is applied to each of these tiers based on what tier it is. For this instance, we're going to go with the choice plus, hit the select button. And then of course, you can get this deal on your online store with a special offer. We're going to skip that for now. And as you can see, you'll then basically put in your domain and get started. When it comes to getting started with hosting or one of the best ways to get the best possible deal is by utilizing one of the links that we have in our description box below this video. When you click that link, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. As you can see, you'll get up to 75% off web hosting, a free domain, plus three free months on top of the $2.99 a month plan. In order to actually claim this deal and get access to it, I simply just have to click the claim deal button. Once I hit the claim deal button, it will then ask me to choose which of these payment options or payment tiers that I want to go with. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go with the most popular option, which is the business plan. I'm going to click the add to cart button, which will then take me to the next page, which is checkout. Once I'm at the checkout page, I then will simply pick a payment period, which is basically how often I want to pay. To save the most amount of money here, I'm going to go with the 48 months option, which is saving me about $480. Once I've selected that, I'm then going to create a quick account with an email address and a password. And finally, I'm going to enter in my payment details, my personal details, and then I'm going to get access to that coupon code. All you simply have to do here is click that, and then you can enter in your coupon code. The coupon code you want to enter here to get the best possible deal is my first website, all capitals, no spaces. Once you've entered in that code, simply hit the apply button. And now as you can see, the coupon is fully applied and we're getting the best possible deal when it comes to getting started with Hostinger. All we simply have to do now is enter in our card details and hit submit secure payment and we can get started with Hostinger. Now that we've broken down everything when it comes to getting those deals, let's talk about these two specific web hosting platforms and which one has specific features that the other one doesn't and how they stack up against each other. We'll start of course with Hostinger. Hostinger is incredibly easy to use. They have a incredibly user-friendly UI system that allows you to access their overall website builder and hosting services all very easily. Because of this easy to use UI, it makes it so much easier to actually do the things that you wanna do on Hostinger in the first place. And Hostinger has a bunch of different sharing options in the first place, things like cloud, shared, VPS, and even Minecraft hosting options. Now really quick here, guys, I wanna show you a complete overview of Hostinger and how to actually utilize its features in the first place. When it comes to getting started with hosting a website, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this after you get signed up. All you have to do is simply head over to the hosting tab that's located right here. Click the hosting tab and you'll then be taken to this page where you can see a bunch of different hosting tabs if you have any. If you don't, this page will be completely blank. Instead, if you're just getting started, you'll probably see this get a new hosting plan plus Barker right here. All you have to do is simply hit this or press this top one right here and you'll be then be taken to the page where you can get a new hosting plan. Now your hosting plan can be any of these and you can choose whichever one fits your budget the best. As you can see for the single web hosting, we're looking at $1.99 a month, which is saving you about 80%. If you look at the premium web hosting, we're looking at about $2.99 and the business web hosting at $3.99 a month. Now, all of these are great options. And again, you can choose whichever one. Each one comes with their own benefits and drawbacks. As you can see for the basic, we're only getting about one website opposed to the premium, which is about 100 websites. And of course, the business premium, we're getting 100 plus all the other features as well. Now, we're also getting things like standard performance, 50 gigabytes of SSD, weekly backups, email account, unlimited free SSL, and a host of other things with this basic plan here. And then with the premium, we're also getting access to a lot more stuff that we wouldn't get in the basic plan. We're getting things like shared IP, website builder, and a host of other options as well. All we have to do is simply hit the select button on any of these. We can pick the payment period we want. If we want 48 months, 24 months, 12 months, or a month, edit the payment option, add the coupon, and then we can go from there. Now, 
once you've chosen a hosting plan, you can then basically get started with hosting a website by heading over to the website tab. On the website tab, you can add a bunch of different websites or create a website if you don't have one. Up at the top here, we can hit the add website button and we can either choose a WordPress website or build our own website inside of Hostinger's website builder. Or we can even migrate a website if you already have a website that exists in the first place. All we simply have to do is head over to one of these and basically click it. We'll click the Hostinger website builder because that'll be the easiest to show you guys. And then we simply have to pick our hosting plan. For this instance, I'm just gonna pick the hosting plan that we have and then hit select LAN. Once I've done that, it'll then take a couple seconds to load and get everything ready. And then once it fully loads, we'll then be taken to a page that looks like this where we can add sections and start building out our website fully. It's that easy, guys. It's really not that complicated. And this is one of the more user-friendly, easy and intuitive website hosting platforms that you can utilize. Now, in general, I think the pricing on that website is pretty affordable and there's a ton of easy to use interface. But what about Bluehost? Bluehost is basically a direct competitor to Hostinger and they also have been around for quite some time now. They have a ton of important features that are very similar to Hostinger and let's discuss them. Bluehost essentially allows you to host a bunch of different websites on their hosting plan the same way that Hostinger allows you to do. Most of their differences are very minimal, if not minor, and most of the features that they have are very similar in the first place. Things like 24 seven support, one click installs, and a host of other plugin features that they have with other larger third party website builders. They also have secure shell access, which means that you're not vulnerable to things like DDoS attacks or potentially hackers who are trying to hack into your website. Interestingly enough, one of the largest draws to Bluehost that most people seem to cite when talking about it is the fact that it's been around for such a long time and has such a reputation of being used by almost everybody at some point. And this is very true given the fact that it has a super long track record plus a very good and clean safety record as far as hackers or bad actors go getting into their systems. There really isn't much evidence. Not only that, but they also have a ton of web hosting features that are very similar to Hostinger's own web hosting features. And I can even pull up their full feature stack and we can see everything that you get access to. As you can see here, you get things like free domain names, form mail scripts, social networking scripts, three different web mails, a web mail that's actually dedicated to your website, unlimited GB site transfer, add-on domains, park domains. You get pretty much everything that you would need on a website hosting platform. Now, when it comes to pricing, this is much more flexible than hosting or they have a lot more options to choose from. And as you can see from this page right here, we're looking at only $1.99 a month at that regular price with the deal when you use the link down in the description below. You get $3.99 a month at the plus plan and the choice plus plan is about the same there. And the pro plan is about $9.99 a month. Now, keep in mind that you're saving 78% on the basic, 67% on the plus, 77% on the choice, and over 58% on the pro by using the link in our description below. So make sure you use that link if you wanna get the best possible deal if you're thinking about getting started with Bluehost. As far as these prices are concerned, they are a little bit more competitive to Hostinger. And in general, I think that they do have a little bit more flexibility here when it comes to overall pricing. They also have a ton more features at your disposal based on each plan. As you can see, you get a free domain in for your first year, plus free SSL, free CDN. Number of websites is increasing as each plan goes up. You'll also get capped at a certain amount of visits per month, but that does go up with each plan that you upgrade to. And of course, you get a host of other SEO features, website features, marketing features, and other features that are just incredibly useful tools in building websites and maintaining them. In my opinion, none of these website hosting platforms are better than another. They're each great for their own reasons, and it all depends on where you're at in your own personal website building journey. Hopefully you guys like this video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe button, and make sure to check out the links down in the description below to get access to all the deals we talked about in this video. Also, make sure you guys check out some of our other videos that we make about building websites on this channel. Other than that, though, that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you guys in the next one.